Hi, this week is Parsha Yishlach, and I'd like to begin by talking about the battle that Yaakov has with an angel, or Sar Esav, or as some people say, an internal struggle he had with himself. And we get that definition because it says that he's left by himself, and the man battles Ishimo, the man with himself, and he had this um, internal struggle. And I'd like to say that they're really all one and the same thing, and um, in order to understand that, let's go back and look at this um, angel. What does it mean? What does an angel mean? And an angel, what it really means is is either um, a person, a place, a situation, something that the person finds comes their way. And it's in order to help them grow or to move on to the next uh, place in their life. And that's why, as I said, when, when, when I discussed um, the dream that Yaakov had on the ladder and he sees angels going up and down, that these were um, internal struggles and things that he was dealing with um, that he hadn't quite conquered. And, and, and there was this up and down in that he was dealing with in his mind and in his emotions and that it wasn't until he went and he moved on to um, the house of Lavan and he managed to go through um, a myriad of challenges and to he had of course spent 20 years there and he had to work and and work really hard for his wives and and his children and and then to make a living and to manage to accrue all of his um, possessions it took a full 20 years of of dealing with things that really did help him grow and helped him emerge victorious um except for one thing for one thing that Yaakov had one angel that was left this one angel that he's battling with now um, after of course he left the house of Laban and he's going to meet Esau and what is this one thing that's left that he didn't manage to conquer and to um, move on to the next level and we'll see it when he when he left the house of Laban is that he wasn't able to face Laban um, head on and to tell him um, that he's he's going to move on and why he's going to move on and he just runs away uh, when Laban's not around and he didn't manage to avoid the situation it was something he was going to have to go through as we know Laban ran after him caught up with him and confronted him um, and Yaakov wasn't proactive in dealing with this situation he still had that fear and he's bringing that fear um, now that he's going to meet with Esau and that's why he's left with this one angel that he has a battle and it's they're fighting all night it's the higher self and the lower self the part of him that thinks he can do it and the part of him that thinks that he can't do it and they're fighting he's fighting himself all night this is something that really um, is eating away at him and of course the time is coming and it's about to be morning and he knows he has to move on he hasn't gotten anywhere with this battle and um, he gets struck as we know um, in the thigh and that's why uh, we can't eat the get which I want to go back to explaining why um, but there's this conversation between the higher self and lower self and um, he says to himself uh, what is your name and he says Yaakov and he says Yaakov is the, the lower self. Yaakov is the one who held on to the heel of Esav. Yaakov is the one who can't face Esav um, and confront him. And the higher self says, no, you're going to be Yisrael. You're the one who has contended with man, with situations, with God, and you emerged victorious. You can do this. Your name is Yisrael. And then he says to him again, well, what's your name? And he says, it doesn't matter what my name is. And he blesses him. And what does that mean? It doesn't matter what my name is. And I'll tell you what it means. What it means is, is as a frustration of the self because the higher self knew that he can do it and that he can be successful and he can move on. But then he asks himself again, what is your name? And that just shows that he wasn't able to fully accept his higher self. He wasn't able to fully accept there was something still there, that debilitating fear that he didn't even know how to pinpoint it, how to name it, how to say what it is that was keeping him going. And that's why he gets struck He's still struck and he's still limping. He's still limping because there's a part of him that can't be full, that can't be whole. And that's why he, when he meets Esav, um, he's still fearful. And he doesn't um, meet him in the way that could have fully embraced this challenge 
and we see that you know we know that he sent gifts and he divided his camp and he created God um, and he bowed to, to seven times until um, Asaph came and then he finally does see Asaph and Asaph runs towards him and he hugs him and he kisses him and and um, he says to Yaakov what what is all this what what do you mean by all this and he's he explains to him that he's he's like take my blessing take my bear hearty. he's giving him all this stuff because he thinks all Asaph wants is the material possessions that he had taken um, by getting the blessing but what Asaph responds is is that I don't need this I have plenty of stuff um, and Yaakov doesn't doesn't understand that Asaph might be at that minute um, looking for something more and he's just thinking it from his vantage point and he's like no no take it take it because he thinks that that's what he really wants and he thinks it's what will really appease him um but Asaph says walk with me come with me my brother um I'll travel alongside you and Yaakov says no I'll just slow you down as you see he still has that 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 limp that inability to know that here is his brother um his brother who wanted to maybe partner with him and that he was asking for him to you know join forces because he was lacking something he was lacking something that maybe he thought Yaakov could give him and, and Yaakov's like no no we'll slow you down you you go on your way and we'll meet you which of course he goes back on his way to Har Seir and we never have Yaakov never did meet up with him um now the interesting thing is is that we're told when the Mashiach comes in the end of days that we will meet up on Har Seir and I was thinking about it Seir is the same exact letters as Yisrael, but it's missing, um, in that order, it's missing the Lamed, because if it has everything it needs in terms of um, the physical possessions, in terms of the ability, but it doesn't have the the Limud, it doesn't have the, the Yaakov, the one who he wanted to help in terms of to guide him in the, the right ways, and to, maybe he needed to slow down, Maybe he wanted to slow down and think about things before he did it. Maybe if Yaakov was able to help him, um, he could have achieved um, a spiritual height and they could have partnered together um, and been a force of good in the world that would have been so far-reaching. And I think that eventually, when we do conquer our Yaakov, our nation needs to still conquer our Yaakov, meaning our fear of thinking that we can't do it. Because if we live our lives according to the Torah, if we live our lives in a God way, and God promised he'll be with us if we do, then we can be a force. We can confront scary, evil things, like the things that are going on today. Um, we can face it. We can conquer it. We don't have to cower, hide, and stay behind or hide. We can face it with God head on and be successful. And I think that's what the moment we're waiting to be truly um, to be fitting for the name Yisrael. So let's try, let's aim, let's get there. It's been long enough. Shabbat Shalom.